Artificial intelligence doesn't always mean machines capable of deep learning like a human. In another form, it's a combination of computer science and huge amounts of data that help with problem solving. And as our Michael Gibson reports, that's what researchers with Texas A&M Corpus Christi are using to predict coastal events like flooding and fog even further out. Hurricane season is here, and there are folks across the country working to improve computer modeling so that we will have as much advanced warning as possible. You have to have good data in order to train AI that produces good results. Here at the Conrad Blucher Institute, that task is ongoing in the form of artificial intelligence. What that means here is that researchers are feeding a computer model a huge amount of data that would overwhelm a human mind. a and Corpus Christi meteorologist Cliff Erka is hoping a new monitor being put into place in Calhoun County will help provide him the vital information that he needs to help give officials there more advanced notice of hurricane flooding. And we're going to use that to, to train AI to predict when that sea level will get high enough to cut off that community. Here at the National Weather Service, they say they welcome any improvements to artificial intelligence that's going to help them better predict our weather. Eric Fornash is one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service. On this day, he was busy tracking the storms that were rolling across our area. He says he always welcomes more information and better weather modeling. So artificial intelligence to help us learn what aspects, what weather elements are most um, important when it comes to certain weather elements like storm surge flooding, like coastal flooding. Dr. Philip Tussaud is the chairman for the Coastal Artificial Intelligence here at the Conrad Blucher Institute. He tells 3 News that he and the other researchers here have used artificial intelligence to better predict coastal fog and even when the water temperature dips down enough to cause cold stunning of turtles. We went from 48 hours to 120 hours. Dr. Tussaud says artificial intelligence in his field of study is only as good as the data that's being fed in the computer model, all in an effort of trying to better predict what's going to happen along our coastline. Michael Gibson, 3 News. All right, thank you, Michael, and we are.